Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Give double honors to the elders of Israel, who are the elders of GMS. And salutations to you brothers out there on the highways and byways, pushing this truth and all righteousness and sincerity, which is the real house of David. Uh, let's jump right into it. First Thessalonians 5, verse 17. Pray without ceasing. And that's going to be the topic of this of this video is, is, is praying. You know, we have to pray more. We really have to pray more. It's our duty to do that. You know, that's that's one of the spiritual powers that we actually have. That's something that we can actually use right now until we get the, you know, the other spiritual powers. But that's some, that's a, that's a gift that the Most High gave us. Okay. So it says, pray without ceasing. Don't stop. Continue in prayer. And this first and foremost, this is this is getting on myself. You know, I gotta pray more. I even remember uh. Elder Gabar, like two, three years ago, he did a video about Akiyam need to pray more and how he wasn't praying enough. And if if that man, if that that if that man, we know that he's a great man through his works. If he can say that, then you know, we should be able to admit those things. We gotta pray more. You can never do enough praying. Alright? It says pray without ceasing. That means continually, non-stop. Now, let's not be ignorant here. You know, you got work, you got to do things, da 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 So, at certain times, you can't, you know, do the proper praying. But, man, even shit, even when you at work, you can, you can pray in your head while, you, while you're doing the, uh, the carnal work of Esau. So, yeah, you, you should be praying all the time. You know, then when you get in the, 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 the confrontic confinements of your own home, then you can do the proper praying, you know, facing the east and, you know, doing it that way. But whatever you do, you should always be praying, you know, praying for the destruction of America, praying for the, the, the rising of the elect and the one third, you know, praying for personal things, for uh, wisdom, knowledge and understanding, for praying for humbleness, humility, praying for the brotherhood, you know, praying for, you know, just to, to, to get the infirmities off of us because brothers, some, some, some brothers are dealing with infirmities. OK. We have to pray more. Um, next scripture, John uh, 15, 15 and uh, 7. Now this is Yahweh, this red letter, so this is Yahweh Shah speaking. If ye, abide, if ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you. So if you believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and you believe in the words and you, and, and, Whatever you want to ask, meaning whatever you pray for, it's going to be done unto you. It's going to be given to you. If you do it in sincerity, if you truly believe. You believe in your Hawashah, he said it right here. This is his words. So you have to believe that. So whatever you need, whatever, whatever your, 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 uh, your weaknesses is, and, you, and you're praying about it to be helped, be helped with it, if you're sincere with it, you're going to get helped. Praying for your brother, whatever their weaknesses is. Your prayer can help them. You know? You have to have faith in your prayer. Because he says it. He says it. Whatever you ask for, it's going to be given unto you. Praying for daily bread. Whatever that may be for you. Um, Next scripture, I'm going to get uh, Matthew's. Six and uh, six. Shahawa Shah again. But thou, when thou prayest, and in, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Now this is going back to what I was talking about before. Now this is the proper way to pray. But remember also, even if you're at work, because you know we can't be over righteous, okay? Even at work, you can still pray. But here it goes right here. But when ye pray, use not rain reputations as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their for their much speaking. So when you do pray, don't 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 use vain reputations. Don't say the same thing every time. Your prayer should be sincere. You know, don't just say, "Oh, can you do this for me?" You know, you got to do it with passion. All right. Again, 
But without prayers, this is the this is the proper way. So like when you get home, this is how you do it. But when thou prayers, enter into thy closet. But when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. So when you pray in secret, he's going to reward you openly. People are going to see your gifts, okay? Because uh, what I was watching, I was watching uh, something on the Travel Channel, and they were in the Middle East, in one of those Islamic countries, and they had the cameras inside the mosque where them heathens was praying, and they was just letting the cameras show them praying. That just shows you they doing it vain. They they want they doing it to be seen of men. But when you pray, you it's supposed to be a personal thing. You know. Now when we have our high holy days, you know we pray amongst the brethren. You know we we ask for we ask for we ask for things. We send up prayers and we send up curses and everything. So that's that's certain times you can do it. But when you're doing it for your own personal self, keep that to yourself. Because you know, you, uh, J uh, the Most High, I know Jay, he made us. You know, you praying because you want to be seen in men. You want to you want to see him all high and mighty. That's 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 some bullshit. That's not the, the, the mentality you should be in. Okay? Um, that was good on that. Uh, Psalms, I'm going to go to Psalms 34. Psalms 34 and uh, 17. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. How do you cry? You cry. One way to cry is by praying. Okay? Well, an another way to cry is going out there on them highways and byways, pushing this truth. That's a, that's a form of crying. And that's kind of a form of praying, because you're calling out to the Most High. Okay? Again, it says, the righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. So when you do that, when you pray, the Lord is going to deliver you. The scriptures say it, uh, everything was written for our foretime, for our learning. Everything was written in the foretime was for our learning. So it's saying right here, if, if you pray and you truly believe in it, you're going to, you're, you're going to, you're going, the Lord is going to hear you and going to help you out of your troubles. So this is a, a reason why you should pray more. Um, I'm going to go to Matthew uh, 26. Matthew 26 and 41. <laughs> Another Yahweh Shai words. Watch and pray. Okay, you know, watching, you know, watching the news, you know, just keeping your eye out on spiritual things that's going on in, in, in the world that, that connects with the scriptures. It says, watch, <clears throat> watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit in, indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Okay. So you have to, you have to, not only do you have to watch, but you have to pray so you don't fall into those temptations. Because there's definitely a lot of temptations out there. And we're in the flesh, so we're going to fall sometimes, you know. But we gotta, we gotta pray that we're able to bounce back from those falls and not fall again. I said, watch and pray, because you know you just can't be out here uh, saying, yeah, you know the scriptures and you you see everything that's going on, so you just waiting towards the end times. No, as your, as that time is going on, you have to pray also, because if you don't pray. You're not you're not using one of your spiritual gifts. You're not using this one of the spiritual powers that you have. So you're going to get nicked up. The point of praying is to block is to block those demons. To use to, to use your father. To get the protection from your father. Okay? You know, in a, in a, in on a on a carnal sense, you know, if you got back you know, if you're in the streets you got a big brother, you used to always, you know, call your big brother up. You know, if you got into something, man, you know, your big brother come help you out. This we got, we got, we got the father and his son. So we pray, we pray to, we pray to the son, to the, uh, we pray to the father through the son to help us in these times. That's the power of prayer. You know, these things may seem simple, but we're not doing them enough. So sometimes we have to reiterate. Sometimes we have to do these topics to reiterate it. And keep pushing forward. 
Luke, I'm going to go Luke. Let's lock it. Luke 11, and I believe it's 9. Yeah, I was shy again. And I ask unto you, ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. So if you pray for certain things, examples that we said for humility, um, um, you know, pray for bravery, courage, you know, pray, pray for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you know, as it says, it says, and I say unto you, ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. So if you do all those things, if you ask, if you knock on the knock, knock at the door, which is praying. To the Lord, uh, playing through your how about me, I was shy. You can get those those things that you ask for, okay? You praying to 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 for the for the Lord to speed up this uh, process of bringing Babylon down to 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 rise the elect. We really are, we almost out of here, so we got to we got to pray more, man. We we coming into serious times, and you got to use your spiritual powers. And that's, 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 we have, we're, <clears throat> I got to keep harping on that because we always, we're always talking about spiritual powers, but the one that we already have, we're not using it enough. Really think about that. We have a spiritual power. Use it. It, it really, it, it, the scriptures say it's going to help you. If you truly believe and you're sincere, you have nothing to worry about. Again, and I say unto you, ask and it shall be given, be given you, seek and ye shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Everything you ask for is going to be given, okay, in due time. You know, you got to have patience. Sometimes when you pray for certain things, it might not come to you in the, in the light that you think is supposed to come to you. But if you have faith, it's going, it's going to get there, you know. <clears throat> uh Next scripture, Jeremiah 33 and 3. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Okay? So if you call unto the Lord, he's going to show you, again, he's going to show you great things. He's going to give you that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. If you ask him for those things, he's going to give you that humility. He's going to give you that bravery. Okay? And when you pray for your brothers and you ask, can your can your uh, can your up can your brothers get those things? He's going to give it to them. That's our power. You know, uh, you know, it's it's kind of becoming repetitive now, but I'm just I'm, I got to keep beating it in your head. The scriptures are telling us how powerful our prayers is if we just use them. Another one, Psalms. Psalms fifty-five and uh. 22. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Cast your burden, you know, through all the problems that we go through, through the, uh, you know, the, the, the you know, us, us stressing out, us, you know, being sickly, you know, us, us worrying. You know, cast that burden upon the Lord. How you cast that burden? By crying out to him, by talking to him, by praying to him. Okay? And he's going to sustain thee, and he shall, he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. He's going to keep you sturdy on your, on your, on your, on your, uh, on your watchtower. He's going to keep you firm. Okay? He's not, you're not going to be able to be knocked off by these demons. Again, cast thy burden upon the Lord. Cry out, cry, cry out to Him. Ask Him for help. Lean. That's what we. That's what we have to lean on. We can't do it ourselves. We cannot do it ourselves. Let me get these last uh, two scriptures. Go to the apocrypha. Then I'm gonna get a uh, Ecclesiasticus. What is it? Thirty. Five and sixteen. Is that it? Yeah. Thirty five and sixteen. He that serveth the Lord shall be accepted with favor. 
So if we if we going out there on the highways and byways, uh, pushing this truth, if we being sincere, just being spiritual men, if we out there putting out these videos, if we're just doing what the scriptures tell us, he says, he that serveth the Lord shall be accepted with favor. So you're going to be accepted with favor and his prayer shall reach unto the clouds. So your prayers, when you pray, after you hear this video and you start to pray more, and you, but you're being sincere about it, it's going to reach into the clouds. It's going to get to the, to the Most High through His Son. Verse 17, the prayer of the humble. Remember, that's, that's something that you have to pray for. Pray, pray to be humble. If you don't have that characteristic, you're not a man of the Lord, simple and plain. The prayer of the humble pierceth the clouds. Okay? So that means it's, it's, it's going to be powerful. And until it come nigh, he will not be comforted. And, and will not depart till the Most High shall behold the judge righteously and execute judgment. Okay? So your, 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 your prayers have power, man. But you have to believe in them. Okay? It's going to pierce the clouds. It's going to get to the Most High. And he's going to serve. He's going to uh, bring down that judgment from your prayers. I believe when I pray that this, 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 uh, can you bring, can you, uh, speed up the process of bringing Esau and his kingdom down? I feel that he's going to do that. I truly believe that. And that's how you have to think too. Okay. This last scripture, uh, <clears throat> Mark 11 and, uh, 20, 24. Good. And it's all for Yahweh Shai. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire. So again, for all those examples, whatever whatever you desire, I don't have to give the things I'm saying. You should desire those things also. But, you know, if, I, if I, anything slip in my mind, you know, whatever those things that ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. Okay. If you believe in your prayers, because that's the ultimate. When you're praying and you believe that, that you're actually reaching Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're going to receive them. You shall have them, it says. And it's Yahweh Shai speaking. We done, we done got Yahweh Shai words through this whole time. So if you believe in Yahweh Shai, you should believe in the words that he said. And if you believe in the words that he said, you understand how powerful your prayer is. Okay? So with that being said, I ho hopefully you brothers and sisters have been edified. Um, if you got any more scriptures, please put them in the comment board, you know, build, build with each other and, um, shalom. We almost out of here.